All right, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be going over how you can host your own server on TS3 MP. So I'm just going to pop this guy open. This is my test server. I do currently host uh, two separate servers. And uh, basically what you want to do is, if, if you, this is your first time hosting anything, uh, what you want to do is go down here and you can open this with just regular notepad. But you will want to, or sorry, this is the wrong config. Sorry, I only just had my coffee this morning. So you'll want to go here, and you'll want to check for this. This will usually be 25565, but this is a, another server, so it's 64. You also probably want to change this to whatever you want your server to be called. You can change this to whatever number you want. There's not currently a cap on the engine. However, I'd recommend about 64. And if you leave this blank, there will be no password. <clears throat> this changes how much information will be relayed to you in the console. Uh, Verbose tells you basically everything that's going on on the server at once, even the updates to master servers. So, yeah. Also, if you're using an older version of the client, it could still be a 0 0.6, but sometimes it will be different here. Sometimes it'll say 1,000 instead of 10,000. You'll want to change that to 10,000. Actually, I think it was 100. <clears throat> and this just basically changes the rate it's updated on the master server. And the devs have said to set it to 1,000, so, you know, I, I trust them. So, once that's set, you'll want to go to your router, which I don't usually log on to it from here, so I don't think that was it. Hold on, let me just check on my desktop. Yes, t okay. So, 254. Here we go. So now we can just go ahead and actually, you know what? I can just, I'll just log in on here. And then I'll move the web page over. Because that has all my passwords saved on this guy here. So I will go ahead and I'm going to go over here. Now this could be in different places depending on your router because. Not all routers are the same. I'm with TELUS though, so they give me the shitty proprietary one, so kinda fucked on that, but nonetheless, it works well enough for what we're trying to do here. You wanna find where your port forwarding is. Usually it's in firewall, sometimes it's not. Uh, sometimes there'll be a sec uh, separate section for forwarding. You want your LAN IP address, which you can actually get. I don't. Yeah, no, I'll just use this. Oh, right. Sorry again. Need more coffee. <laughs> and you pull up a command prompt and then type ipconfig. Now, it should be on the Ethernet adapter or wireless adapter, depending on what system you're running. There's It could be WLAN, it could be ETH, it could be a number of things. Basically, you're looking for the one with the default gateway. This is also how you get the login information for your router, at least the uh, the IP you need to put in here. You'll say right there, this is your local IP address. You'll want to take that, put that here. I know I probably misspelled that, but I don't really care. So, and if it has something like this, like start and end, that just means the ranges you can open. So what port ranges do you want? So what we're going to do here is you will want to do 25565 unless you've changed it. 25565. I believe it was TCP. If not, try UDP, but uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. I usually usually have it set very differently. But uh, so yeah, and that's basically all you really need to set. And once that's done, you can just go ahead and start the TES3 MP server. I have a personal start script, but uh, 
runs a little bit differently to what most people use. It's not really necessary to have a start script. It, it really isn't. Auto start is what I use though. So basically what my script does is whenever the server shuts down, it'll automatically restart because the game is very, <clears throat> I would say unstable, but it is also very early in development. It hasn't actually released a beta version. They're still very much in alpha. So it's just kind of to be expected. Now, if you want an add an admin to your server you can go to player names then you can just go ahead and look for your name and then once you open this guy and keep in mind every everyone's password will be stored raw which is why i'm not going to open this file right now but there will be a a, uh, you'll just want to add it with uh, notepad. I use plus plus because I do more stuff on the server than just that. Also allow access because that's kind of important. And then what you want to do is go ahead and once you've opened this guy, look for the part that says uh, admin and set it to two. Then look for console enabled and set that to one. That will give you full control over the console and server commands. So once you've done that, you've basically set up a server and you have given yourself the same kind of power you would usually have in single player. Plus the ability to kick and ban players. So yeah, seeing as if you've done all this correctly, you should have an active server popping up on the server list. I'll just pull this guy up here, for example. So we're going to use FTC Roleplay as an example. So you'll have something like this. And uh, it'll be it'll be there and you should be able to join it. Now, if you're trying to join locally, if you're running it off the same machine or the same network, what you will have to do is you will have to go down to wherever your server is stored. I have a lot of files to kind of navigate through. Uh, go down here, and if your if your server is just running off the same machine you're playing on, just run this guy, and it'll all be set. If not, go in here. If if it's still on your home network, but it is, uh, <clears throat> it's not on the same computer you play on. So, like, let's say you have a second computer running as a server. You'll want to change destination address to the local IP of the machine. And you will want to change the port to whatever port you are using. And if you want to host multiple servers, you can go to server config, edit with notepad, and you can just change the last number in the port. And as long as there is, uh, as long as the servers don't have the same ports, there will be no conflicts and you can run as many servers as you want. Well, I say as you want, but really what I mean is is as many servers as you can physically host. Because it's not a very taxing program to run. It's, it's not very difficult to run a server, just running it in general. But you may want some at least mid-range hardware. Because let's just pull this guy up here. Uh, yeah because I cannot quite remember which brand I had. But I know it was a 6-core i7. I think it was a 3000 series. I think it was like 3770K. Or no, it wasn't the K edition. But yeah, you will want a halfway decent CPU with a good bit of memory. You don't need a ton of memory, but I just recommend it. Because memory is one of those things that you want to have more than you need. <laughs> just because sometimes shit hits the fan. Anyways, folks, that's all I really needed to cover. Uh, at that point, you should be able to play on your server. Your friends should be able to join your server. Uh, remember, if you only want your friends to join the server, just set a password. Oh, also, should probably mention... Let's go back here. So if you have set a password, remember to put the password in here. 
otherwise you will not be able to connect to your own server and you'll kind of get fucked so yeah just remember if you have a password on your server set it here in tes3 mp client default dot com cfg and you should be fine if you do that if all this has been done right you should be able to access the uh, server you're running and you should be good anyways folks that's pretty much everything i wanted to cover here uh, if you follow this guide you should be able to host a server if you're having technical issues uh, you can ask me or what i would recommend is going to the ts3 mp discord and just kind of sitting there saying hey i have this issue this is my issue here's a few screen caps can anybody help me they're usually very helpful there so yeah anyways folks thanks for watching and enjoy your server